One Waverly resident is trying her hand at writing history. Cedar Valley Today's Jeannie Edson is here to tell us more. Jeannie? Thanks, Kelsey. Arlene Hawley has always been passionate about history and writing. And now, over four decades later, her story is coming to the big screen. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not terribly ambitious. You know, it's just like, we have a good life, whatever. <laughs> At the age of 84, Arlene Hawley never imagined her 1970s play would turn her into a movie writer. Anyway, I came upon this story and wrote it. Yep. Hawley penned a script which has recently been turned into a documentary drama called Sons and Daughters of Thunder. I think I said I was working on one about Frederick Douglass. It wasn't going, but in the process I came upon this story. So I elaborated on it, of course. Mm -hmm. Holly based the historical piece on the true events of the anti-slavery debates at Cincinnati's Ohio Lane Theological Seminary in 1834. But Holly's own history is just as interesting as the stories she writes. Holly first began writing while serving as a teacher in the Philippines. After several years of missionary work and traveling, Holly married her husband, Kent. During our second year of marriage, she was writing this a um, libretto for the opera in New York. And so I began to say, yep, yeah, she's going to be a writer. As the couple moved around the world, Holly continued to put pen to paper. Kent supported his wife's passion and now serves as the producer for her first mm. film. I was really quite excited because I thought she never got proper recognition once she got back here in Iowa. Now settled in Waverly, the pair reflects on how in just their lifetime, history has changed. I mean, how far have we come? An African-American president, which is, to me, very exciting, very. Um, but the old days were kind of rough. But for the Hollies, the most important story in history is their own. Well, we've been married for 58 years, did I say? No. 58 years, so uh, he thinks for me sometimes when I forget. Sons and Daughters of Thunder is slated for release in 2015 and will screen throughout the U.S. in independent theaters and film festivals. It will be released nationally on DVD with broadcasts on PBS stations to follow.